About the, the piece behind you up here that um, was, I guess, uh, started by the students. They gave you the bags for that. How did they find out about your project? Well, there was, um, as part of this plastic bag ban in Connecticut, different communities began promoting banning plastic bag usage in different towns. And there was a really great nature center in, um, I think it was West, I can't remember exactly the name of the, the, the nature center, but they had a big celebration of this plastic bag ban. So they actually commissioned me to make this. So the students gathered them and then Builders Beyond Borders commissioned me to make it. So this actually belongs to Builders Beyond Borders and it's traveling on its own and then we'll go back to Connecticut where, it's <laughs> where the kids started. So this is on loan, this, this is particular loan. piece. And what I really love about it is in Mexico, in Peru, and places like that, these kinds of bags are used endlessly, you know. So perhaps we've actually, you know, cut their recycling cycle down a bit by including them here. But, you know, they've been transformed. I know in, um, when I'm in Mexico, bags like this are used to take the garbage out. You bring it to the truck, they empty it, and then you take it back. So they're used, you know, hundreds and hundreds of times. So maybe we shorten their, their utilitarian life by including them in this. But they have another life, so. And it includes, thing, it includes things like cereal and, you know, rice and some of the shopping bags.